brief history of the land and its name Zambia. From time immemorial, the God of the heavens and the earth desired to establish a nation called Zambia. The fight for freedom for the people of Northern Rhodesia from colonial era did not originate in the mind of our forefathers or physical freedom fighters as many of us know. The people of Northern Rhodesia did not wage war against the colonial government just because the wind of change swept the continent of Africa on the contrary. It was God the Creator who organized this war in the spiritual realm to liberate this land we call today Zambia. God brought together men and women and put in them the spirit of boldness and fearless to fight for the people of the land on behalf of God. God chose to liberate this land in order to make it a center for peace and liberate other nations. Many people know very little that God was fully involved in liberation of other countries through Zambia. The origin of the name Zambia. First and foremost, I want you to understand that it was God who gave the first man on earth, Adam, the gift to name the birds of the air and the animals their suitable names. It is through the same gift that God gave to the local people early before the whites colonized this land to name the Mat River as Yambeji in English, Zambez. The name Yambesh, according to the local people in Nkoya, means the river of God. That is it, Yambi means God, and G means river. So Yambesh means the river of God. But other historians believe that the name Yambesh came from Luvale or Lunda people. Well, it does not matter to us which tribe of people named the river, but what is important is that the river was given a right name, a right and meaningful name according to God's purpose. Yambesh was later called Yambesh River in English. God organized our first fathers to meet and choose a pseudonym name for this land. God organized people like Dr. David Kaunda, Kapwepwe, Kamanga, Kapasamakasa, and many others who made a house number 257 challenge to discuss the suitable name of their new party. The delegation first picked the name Muchinga after a mountain range that connected Tanganyika to rivers and maize, but dropped it in favor of something closer to the river itself. They picked the name Zambezia, but this name also received very little support. Finally, God was the unseen guest in their meeting, dropped a name in the mind of somebody, the name Zambia and everyone in the house agreed and adopted the name Zambia. This name became the name of the new party as Zambia Africa National Congress. The delegation also resolved that Zambia shall be the name of the new country when independence came, and so this land was called Zambia after independence. Another meaning of the name Zambia. In another local language, in Lunda, when we remove the last letter, letter A, from the name Zambia, we come up with the name Zambi. The name Zambi means the God. Whose idea was it? Children of God. I want, to, I want you to understand this revelation of the name. When our fathers named this country Zambia, they simply meant and declared Zambia the country of God. Zambi means God. Even though they never understood what they meant themselves. So we people of Zambia, we must understand that we are with God and we are of God. This was the ideas of God himself and we must be proud of it. Amen. Amen. What followed after three decades of Zambia's existence? God raised up another leader whom he finally used to declare Zambia, the country of God, to a Christian nation. This was the work of God himself so that everyone may come to the knowledge of knowing that Zambia is the nation born from God's heart. In other words, God renewed the covenant he has, he has for this land of Zambia, the covenant of peace, love, unity, and all blessings on 3rd December 1991 through the former late president of the Republic of Zambia, Frederick Chua, may so rest in eternal peace. The flag and national anthem. About the four colors on our Zambian flag, 
an ego and the national anthem, God the creator is the originator of all these symbols. From the biblical point of view, symbols involve more deeper spiritual meaning than a simple literal interpretation might suggest. An ego. Ego is a symbol of power and majesty. The ego is a symbol of victory and rises above problems. The Bible says those who walk in the Lord will renew their strength. They will sour on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Isaiah 40 verse 31. Therefore the symbol of an ego is very, is very much important on our front. We cannot ignore the meaning and representation of rising above problems, victory, power, dignity, the renewal and the strength from God. National Anthem. The National Anthem is not just a mere song for independence, but it is a prayer and a confident song that connects this nation of, of Zambia to God himself. It does not matter even if the tune is from another country or somewhere else. Remember, for God to be known to mankind, he used certain people in order to write a holy book called Bible. Today we all believe that the Bible is the true word of God. God to use our first fathers to establish this meaningful symbols and the national anthem for this land of Zambia. Let it be known today to all who may come across this message that no one should make a mistake to, th to think of changing anything using human wisdom or authority without God's involvement. By doing so, someone may end up being in conflict with God, the owner who established this nation. Therefore, any individual, groups of people, present government, and the government to come, should never think to tamper with the current symbols on the front, as well as the national anthem, unless God himself has said it so. May we all understand that Zambia is the nation born from God's own heart and he has a great agenda for this land, spiritually and economically. Zambia is not a nation far away from God, as some people think. This nation is under the satellite of God's agenda. This is the appeal from God, the creator of the land of Zambia.